stricken tapir limps its way into one of the colony's many subterranean tunnel entrances. The large retractable doors looked like a beast of a bygone era swallowing its prey. It enters the gaping jaw and rumbles its way deep into the tunnel. Salah, Abdel and Menachem has been assigned the enviable task of managing the tapir garage. Word has been received about the incident of this tapir. The three of them were assigned to receive this vehicle today. The trauma team is on standby as Dr. Salah, a trauma specialist, has been prepped by Joachim and the onboard AI on Ahmad's condition. Meanwhile, Abdel and Menachem, the best engineers from the homestead, are there to take possession of the tapir and to troubleshoot and fix its problem. As the three await ahead of their respective teams in the garage, a squeal of wheels could be heard as the stricken vehicle approaches the entrance of the garage. The garage looks more like a storage bay for the loading and unloading of cargo, but today, the race platform would serve its purpose to deliver the stricken co-driver to the trauma center. Help me, came the voice of Joachim as he struggles with Ahmed. Coming, Joachim. Team, with me. Bring the IV and the gurney. Step. The rush of medical personnel enters the tapir and begins stabilizing Ahmed. Dr. Salah, meantime, enters the command cabin and examines the driver. He releases the driver from his harness and his lifeless body crumples to the floor of the cabin, his mouth wide open and eyes staring into nothingness. Dr. Salah examines the body and makes a gesture of prayer for the driver and proceeds to prepare his body for transport. Rest in peace, Brother Justin. Team, Ahmed stabilized, then let's move. KT, please prepare transport for Justin. In perfect coordination, the trauma team from the homestead begins its real work. Joachim, report to the trauma room. Come, come, I'll help you. We need to check you as well. Thank you, Doctor. Dr. Salah lifts Joachim's left arm around his shoulder as they slowly make their way into the facility. Come on, Mac. We have work to do. Diagnostics with you? Great, let's move. Menachem and Abdel look forlorn as they know that this tapir was on his last legs. The maintenance record for this vehicle would embarrass the Terendak Shenzhen Corp greatly. But this was not from the Great Corp. This was the bootleg variety from the Great Commonwealth of Mars. Hello, Dr. Salah. How's our patient doing? Well, I hope. The comms unit cackles to life in the doctor's breast pocket. Looking slightly annoyed, he reaches into his pocket and pulls it out. Yes, Ibrahim. If you mean Ahmed, he is stabilized, but should be up in about another couple of days. Joachim is okay. As for Justin, I'm afraid he didn't make it, but I suppose you expected this. The good of the many, my dear doctor. Don't you dare throw me that UNE rhetoric. Clearly, Dr. Salah was not impressed, nor was he pleased with the comment from the homestead administrator. This homestead was established for exactly that away from the UNE and its restrictive and often faceless pursuit of perfection for the common good. We need to be individuals. We need the freedom to think. This administrator is obviously an ardent UNE follower. Ibrahim, please don't. Do not justify the needs of the community at the expense of lives, no matter how important. I am busy, so if you'll excuse me. Ibrahim cracks a wry smile as he enters his encrypted command code into his VidCom unit. I have sent the data packets to you. Yes, 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 it's encrypted. When will you transfer? Of course, of course, I trust you. Soon, soon. Yes, 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 Jerusalem? Yes, thank you.